Harness Ida is the AI development assistant you've been waiting for. In this demo, we'll see how we can leverage the power of generative AI with Ida to create a simple Python Flask application, as well as determine and resolve root causes for build issues. From the Harness Code Repository module, we'll select New Repository, give it a name, and since this will be a Python project, we'll select the appropriate git ignore file with our repository created. Let's click the clone button and then click the copy icon. Then over in Visual Studio Code, paste the repository URL that we just copied, select the destination for the clone, and now we'll be prompted for authentication. So we'll provide our Harness username. For the password, we'll generate a clone credential in Harness. So select generate clone credential and an API token will be provided. Paste the token and the repository is cloned and we can open it. So here's that generated git ignore file and readme file. Now we're ready to use the IDA code generation extension to write our application. So let's create a new file named app.py and we'll ask IDA to write a hello world Flask app for Docker. So just by writing that text, IDA returns the code suggestion that we can accept and always be sure to save your changes. Since this is a Python project, we need to set up the environment in Visual Studio Code. So we'll say create virtual environment with VN, select the Python version we want to use, open a terminal. Visual Studio Code lets us know that the Flask module isn't found yet, so we need to install it. So we'll do pip install Flask and reload. And now the warning is gone. Now we'll generate the requirements.txt file with the pip freeze command. Here's that generated file. Now let's create the Docker file. So again, we'll have I to help us here. We'll say write Docker file for Flask app. Here's the suggested Docker file. We can accept and again, save the file. Now let's use the docker build command to build the docker image from this code. Then we'll run the container to verify the application is working. Load it in the browser, and there's our hello world message. Now we're ready to commit and push these changes to our repository. So we'll sync the changes. and verify that the code was pushed. Now we're ready to build a continuous integration pipeline in Harness CI. So in the Harness CI module, we'll select the get started workflow. We'll select run pipelines on Harness Cloud. We'll select generate my pipeline configuration, then click create pipeline. Now we can examine the generated pipeline in the visual pipeline editor. Here's the build stage with a lint step, virtual environment setup step, and a Docker build step. We'll need to set some values so that our Docker image can be published to our Docker registry. So we'll need to provide a Docker connector. We'll also need to set a proper Docker repository path. So we'll apply and save those changes. When following the get started workflow, as we just did, push and pull request triggers are automatically added to the pipeline. The pipeline changes that we just committed to the repository have now triggered the pipeline. It looks like the linter step failed. Thankfully, Ida is here to help again. So we'll click the link to ask Ida for help. Ida gives us the root cause and remediation. So we'll need to add some lines to make the linter step pass with its current configuration. Back in our code, we'll add new lines where they're required. Then commit and sync the changes. The pipeline triggers automatically.
then this time the linter step passes. Looks like we have another failure in the setup virtual environment step. And again, let's ask Ida for help. So Ida tells us that this is not a Python project. Uh, we are missing a setup.py or pyproject.toml file. So that's fine. This is just a demo project that isn't meant to be reusable. So we don't have a need for those files. So we'll go into the step and remove the command that's causing the error. Save the changes. And again, the pipeline triggers automatically. Now the setup virtual environment step passes, and we get to the Docker build step. So this builds and publishes our Docker image to our Docker registry. This Docker build step is running the same Docker build command we ran earlier locally on our machine. Here we see the published image. Now we can verify the published image by pulling the Docker image locally and running it. And there's our hello world message. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Harness Ida, click the link in the description.